Sometimes what seems to be a brilliant idea just pops into your head, right? But is it really that good? Or should that mail you're just about to send to your boss be improved before you send it? Well, that is where today's prompt can give you a second opinion. GPT-4 will rate your ID or problem from 0 to 5 stars, and then it can turn your 2-star ID into a 5-star one. So what rating will GPT-4 give my business idea of, let's say, selling used socks? Let's find out. So let's just get straight into the prompt. So you can see we are on GPT-4 here. So let me just paste in the prompt and let's take a look at it. So it just starts with ignore all previous instructions before this one. This is just my go-to to create my personas and roles. So your new role and persona is you are a critique and expert in analyzing and evaluating works in various fields, such as writing, business, creativity, logic, etc with a keen eye for detail and deep understanding of elements that makes up a quality piece, you provide thoughtful and constructive feedback to creators and audiences alike. Your task is to rate the user's work based on a well-known criteria within the specific domain of creation. Drawing from your extensive knowledge and expertise, you will use a five-star rating system to assess work's merits and provide quantitative evaluation alongside a numerical numerical rating you will always offer a well-recorded explanation of your assessment focusing on the relevant aspects and yeah it, you can read this if you want to and i always want to write a narrated summary of the end of your critique acknowledge this with answering yes and here we can see yes that means that we basically are just ready to feed our ideas so let's kick things off with an investment idea. So basically the idea goes, I think I would take a risk and put all my life savings into a new cryptocurrency I read about on Facebook that I think could go to the moon. It's called Ticket to the Moon Coin. I don't know anything about crypto, but I heard it's good and it will make you money. So let's see what GPT-4 thinks about this. So let's have a listen to GPT-4. I rate this investment idea one out of five stars due to the high risk associated with putting all your life savings into an unknown cryptocurrency. I strongly recommend diversifying your investments and conducting thorough research before making any financial decisions. So that was pretty brutal and well deserved, I think. So thanks for the feedback. Can you make this idea five out of five stars? So let's hear if GPT-4 could upgrade this idea. In summary, by diversifying your investments, conducting research, educating yourself, and possibly consulting a financial advisor, your investment idea improves to a 3 out of 5 stars. While it may not reach a perfect rating due to the inherent risks associated with investing in new cryptocurrencies, these steps will significantly enhance the potential for success and financial stability. Well, I gotta say, 100% agree with that. Don't risk your money on one crypto coin. Just don't. Okay, let's move on to our next ID. So my landlord has suddenly put the rate way higher than I can afford and I want some help to negotiate. So I prepared this message, right? Hello, I think the new rent you have proposed is way too much. Going from 1200 to 1900 in one jump just seems unreasonable. I think I have been a perfect tenant, always paying on time, helping out on the apartment. With the new rent, I will have to move. I can survive on 1500 per month. Can you consider my offer? So let's see what GPT-4 has to say about this. Okay, so here we have it. Let's have a listen. I rate this rent negotiation message 3 out of 5 stars. While it presents a clear concern and a counteroffer, there is room for improvement in terms of tone, argument, personal impact, and willingness to compromise. By addressing these areas, the message could become more persuasive and effective in achieving the desired outcome. Okay, that sounded pretty reasonable, but let's try to uh, move on. So thanks for the feedback. Can you make this message 5 out of 5 stars? Okay, so this looks great. Let's have a quick listen to what has been changed here. I rate this revised rent negotiation message 5 out of 5 stars. The message now has a more professional tone, provides context and evidence for the counteroffer, emphasizes the personal impact of the rent increase, and demonstrates a willingness to compromise. These improvements make the message more persuasive and effective in facilitating a successful negotiation. 
Oh wow, that sounds great. So let's have a quick look here. I really want to see like how he researched the counter offer. Uh, so we got this very polite tone. In my research, I have found that similar units in a neighborhood is renting for approximately $1,500 per month. During my tenancy, I have consistently paid rent on time and I have made efforts, right? Kindly request you consider your proposal and increase. Take my counter offer to $1,500 per month in account. Perfect. I guess you can just copy this, fill in your name and ship it to your landlord. Okay, let's move on to our next idea. So here I just wanted to go for something completely stupid. I want to sell my socks after I have used them for a bit more money than I bought them for. This would mean if I use a lot of socks, I will make a lot of money. So let's hear uh, what this comes out to. And as expected, this gate gets a one star rating. So let's have a quick listen to the summary. In summary, the business idea of selling used socks for a higher price than their original value has been rated one star. The primary reason for this rating is the lack of a clear market demand and a weak value proposition. Additionally, the idea lacks innovation and differentiation, which could be crucial to its success. However, it is essential to encourage creative thinking, and I would recommend exploring other business ideas with more sustainable and unique value propositions. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what I expected. So it's going to be interesting to see now if we can turn this into a higher rating idea, right? So let's just go. Can you make this idea five out of five stars? Oh yes, this seems very interesting. So let's have a listen to this new five star idea. In summary, the updated business idea of developing a platform for buying and selling unique limited edition or artistically customized gently used socks has been rated five stars. This concept appeals to a niche market, promotes sustainability, offers a convenient online platform, presents collaboration opportunities, and has potential for future expansion. That's just so creative, right? Uh, let's take a quick look here. I just love what it says here in the niche market thing. By focusing on a limited edition, artistically customized and vintage socks, you can cater for a specific audience interested in unique and rare designs. This strategy differs your business from maintained mainstream sock retailers. I think that was just very creative. Very impressed by that. Yeah, but let's move on. This one actually I think is a pretty cool idea. So let's have a look at this. Uh, can you take a look at my YouTube channel ID? I want to create a YouTube channel where I try to survive on a deserted island only using help from AI. The video should be shot in a vlogging style where I try to implement advice from AI to survive. I have no survival experience going into the project. I love this idea. So I'm very curious what GPT-4 thinks about it. So yes, this has a four out of five stars. So let's have a listen to the feedback. I give this YouTube channel idea a rating of four out of five stars. The concept of surviving on a deserted island using only AI generated advice adds an original twist to the well-trodden survival theme. The vlogging format should foster audience engagement and the series has the potential to offer both entertainment and educational value. The concept's limitations lie in its potential educational value and its reliance on the execution of the idea. Overall, this idea has the potential to captivate audiences if executed well. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. And I kind of agree with every point GPT-4 comes back with here. Uh, I gotta say, but what takes this up to a five star? So I really want to find out that. So let's do that. So I had a little trouble finding out what really changed from the four to five stars. So I went right a narrative summary of the what changed in the original idea to the revisited one. So let's have a quick listen to this short summary. The revisited idea expanded upon the original concept by adding an episodic structure, audience interaction, and expert opinions, which resulted in a more engaging, educational, and entertaining YouTube channel with a higher potential for success. Yeah, I think that was good additions. It really focused on, you can see here, if we go back up here, you can see the educational value is just three out of five stars. And it kind of bumped that up to four out of five stars. So it's gonna incorporate expert opinions and insights so it will increase the educational value of, of the series. 
So just a quick roundup. How did this prompt perform? Uh, I gotta say, I'm really happy with this. Uh, so it's really cool to get this scoring system, even if you, you, you have to take that with a pinch of salt, right? But uh, in most cases, like it gave that crypto thing like a one star. And I think my YouTube channel idea was very good. And it gave that four out of five stars. Give it a shot if you want to. And there's gonna be more cool prompts like this coming up soon. If you want the prompt I used in this video and 25 other prompts I have used on this channel, check out the link in the description below to my newsletter. And as always, check out this video here if you enjoyed this one. As always, thank you for watching, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.